It's Saturday morning, the day of the dinner party, and I'm just getting the chicken ready here to boil for the broth. So we're going to put the chicken on the stove and bring it to boil. Now we'll add the vegetable. We've got an onion, we've got a celery uh, cut in half, a uh, stalk cut in half, we've got a uh, carrot, a little bit of thyme, and parsley. And we're going to put about a teaspoon of salt in there. And we're going to gently simmer the stock for about three hours. We're going to be working on the uh, minestra. And we'll start by dicing two onions, celery, leeks, zucchini, green beans. All right, I'm now going to make a bouquet garni from thyme, parsley, and a bay leaf. And this will be going into the minestra. The next step in the preparations for the minestra is to wilt the arugula and spinach. And we'll start with the spinach. This is over medium high heat. And I've got this in one tablespoon of olive oil. And we're now going to squeeze out the remaining moisture in a towel, and then I'm going to rough chop it. There's the wilted, drained, and rough chopped arugula and spinach. Now we're going to turn to the crostata, and we've got uh, a whole bunch of different herbs that we need to chop up here. Uh, we've got parsley, chives, chervil, thyme, marjoram. I'm going to mince two garlic cloves, and we're going to add these garlic cloves to the herbs for the crostata. I'm going to work on the pork loins now, and most of the work on that was done about a week ago when I put it in the brine. Uh, but now I'm going to chop up some parsley. It calls for a fistful or so of parsley. Now I'm going to mince up four garlic cloves. Chop parsley and garlic. The chicken stock has been going about three hours. It's done. Very good, very good. And I had chopped herbs and uh, garlic earlier for the crostata, and what we're gonna do now is combine it with some uh, grated mozzarella cheese and crumbled goat cheese. We'll add some pepper to this mixture. I've done a couple of things off camera. Where I'm working on the kale, so I took uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper, dried red pepper, and minced up seven garlic cloves and combined those. I've also grated the uh, Parmesan Reggiano cheese. I've also chopped about a quarter cup of parsley for the bolognese sauce. I've removed these stems from three pounds of kale, and now I'm going to coarsely chop that. All right, now I'm going to take uh, eight porcini mushrooms, trim them, and quarter them. Now I'm going to brush these mushrooms with olive oil. And add some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to take a cup of whipping cream, about two teaspoons of vanilla, and two tablespoons of powdered sugar, and we're going to whip those up in the stiff peaks. Now 
gonna take the whipped cream and we're gonna put it in this pastry bag so we can squirt it out on the, on the custard. I've got some more of the Sharfin Burger chocolate. This is a semi-sweet and I'm going to shave about two tablespoons for topping the custard. While off camera, I went ahead and mixed a cup of polenta with a teaspoon of salt, and I'm gonna set this aside. And I've taken the dough out of the refrigerator, and what I'm going to do, I need uh, two three ounce balls. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle the flour, spray a little bit of oil on it, and cover it loosely with plastic, and let it sit for a couple hours. I'm turning now to the custard, and what I've done is uh, divided it up into uh, eight different portions uh, and put those in oven proof, proof ramekins. So what I want to do is put hot water in these baking dishes, fill it up about halfway. I'm going to now wrap these tightly in foil. We're going to continue now with the minestra, and I've put uh, three tablespoons of olive oil in this pot over medium heat. We're going to saute the onions and the celery. All right, the uh, onions are just starting to get tender, so we're now going to add the uh, leeks and green beans and zucchini. All right, now we're going to add the uh, bouquet garni that we made this morning with the uh, parsley and thyme and bay leaf, as well as nine cups of chicken stock that we made this morning. We're gonna bring this to a simmer. I've taken a cup and a half of rice and added some of the chicken stock. Now we're going to start heating the pizza stone at 500 degrees.
the Chez Panisse recipes were as satisfying as I remember from three decades ago. That crostata di perella was killer. The herbs, cheeses, and prosciutto made the most savory filling for the thin, crisp crusts. And the chilled prosecco was the perfect accompaniment on a warm summer day. Our second course, polenta with oven-baked porcini mushrooms and bolognese sauce, was my favorite dish of the dinner. That sauce was exceptionally tasty. It was chunky and tender and perfectly matched with the baked polenta. It'll be making frequent future appearances on our table. As for the main course, brine cured pork and garlicky kale, the pork lines were tender, moist, and chewy, almost like a fine ham. Marilyn particularly liked the crunchy garlicky kale, which enhanced the pork's flavor. We served Chardonnay with this and the other courses. And the chocolate espresso custard was pure decadence. High quality chocolate and espresso beans are critical for such a dessert. As rich as the custard was, I'm glad I cut back a bit on the sugar and the whipped cream. It was a perfect ending to the meal. I was thrilled by the bourbons my guests brought. These were on another level from most bourbons. The burning chair in its distinctive matte black bottle is a Vallejo, California whiskey made from bourbons distilled in Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee, aged at least four years in charred oak barrels and then finished in Napa Valley Cabernet barrels. I love that unique bottle, but the bourbon inside would impress even in a more prosaic vessel. Not to be outdone, our other guests brought Weller Special Reserve, a Kentucky bourbon made with wheat rather than rye. I can understand the irreverent reverence shown by our guests when delivering this exceptional libation. It is a delight to sip with just a splash of water on a summer evening. Until next time, take care.